Swaggy, it's your boy, Widow Lifestyle, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day today, and if you are, I want you to continue to enjoy your day today. Now, today, I don't sound energetic, I know that, and that's because, um, I don't even know if I'm tired or not, but I came on this camera to, uh, kind of show you guys, or how I walked through this process of, um, how I made this beat. I told myself I wouldn't necessarily you know, make music content all the time because this channel isn't necessarily a music making channel. It's a whatever channel. So whatever happens, whatever goes. Um, but, oh snap. I really wish that way gave me warning. Okay. So now what I do want to do is I want to walk you guys through this beat I made on SoundBridge. But the problem is, like, because I just found out this new feature on SoundBridge, so it sound, it's pretty dope. But the problem is, when I use SoundBridge, or when I record the, uh, the video on the uh, screen recorder or whatever, <clears throat> basically, the either it just doesn't go on key or on cue or do something. I don't know. I really don't even want to record off the phone anymore. Like, I'd rather it be on a screen recorder. But, um, I guess it just doesn't work out that way. I don't know. But, um, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I made this beat on SoundBridge. And for whatever reason, whenever I start making beats on SoundBridge, I make Disney Channel trap. <laughs> Hold on. I'm about to show y'all what I'm talking about. <laughs> on the video like this. Because I don't have a fast computer so I have to deal with shit like this but that's beside the point the point is show you this beat and I'm gonna show you guys what Soundbridge showed me um, and this thing that Soundbridge showed me was right here now one thing I gotta give props for Soundbridge is like every music making program I have used it has its different features this is new to me like as you can see it's on the tempo line and as you can see it's seven uh, 170 to 50 and as you can see the temples 170 basically this will make the beat sound slower and go from 170 to 50 and when I tell you that this sounds really cool it really does I don't know how I would tag it but hey I'm it'll work it'll work now I'm going to show you the the first thing I did. I'm you I usually try to sound like one of those smart guys and try to go in depth into what I did, but sometimes when I do that or not even sometimes, all times when I do that, I ended up look, just looking like an idiot. So I'm not good at telling you what notes are. I'm not good at telling you how to play the piano. Sometimes I just hop in a program and I just start making stuff. But so boom. Here's what I did. I'm going to make this go out like this. Hold on, I gotta straighten that out. Hold on, I didn't even see that coming. I did not even see that there. Hold on, let me straighten. Here's what I did. I made this piano loop. I played the piano. I didn't necessarily know how to start off with the beat. I say that in every time I make these two beat tutorials, but it's true. I didn't know how to start off making the beat. I was just kind of, you know, in the mood to just start playing around on the piano. And then, yeah, that's what I came up with. The beat that I used. Oh, wrong thing. Or the uh, thing that I used to make this was this thing called Morphine. Um, I'll show you the plugin. I just downloaded this plugin. It was a free plugin because I'm too broke to pay for expensive plugins. So that's why I got that. And the VSTs and all that extra, or the effects I mean. So again, not going to get in depth, but this is what the first sound sounds like. gonna be even crazier about this when I'm in FL studio I believe that I can make some pretty fire trap beats for whatever reason I hop in the sound bridge and the beats that I make are just it wonders me sometimes and I'm gonna show you why let's just run through the tutorial first now boom because to me the, these don't really sound like trap beats they sound like if you're walking on an ocean and you know 
you are listening to, I don't know. But um, this is the second melody that I came up with. And I'm going to just show you that right here. I don't know if you can hear that on this camera, but here's the thing, Mono Fury 64, because I have a 64-bit computer. Now, I guess I can go into depth with that, or with this, kind of, but um, when I made this beat, I didn't, I didn't want it to have the notes, like, stretch all the way out, plus the way that this sounds, like, it's a loop, or arp, arpingator, however you want to call that, and, um... Yeah, well, it just sounded weird, you know, having all that play. Same goes for this one. And this one was a whole nother thing. Like, this one's VST is Pi Zone. Like, if you were to listen to it, it has all different types of sounds running through it. What I did was, I cut it out, I cut the rest of the loop out, and I used, you know, just the tips of it. So this is what that sounds like, if you can hear it. I guess you can. Now, again, if you can't hear it over the phone or because of the phone, microphone, that's unfortunate, but this is the best I can do for right now. So, you guys are going to hear what the thing I was going to do with the... Hold on. Let me show you guys. Let me show you originally what this thing would sound like. Now, a whole note. You see what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want all that into one beat. So, ba thank God for it being on piano roll. Like, I was able to just play the notes and make do with what I have. Now, so, like I said, yesterday or the day before I even started making this beat, I literally went on website after website looking for free VSTs. And DSK, the Grand, it's a piano VST. Let me show you. Um, doesn't, it's not really, you know, anything special about it. It's piano. Um, you could obviously do all these special effects on there and such. And yeah, now, as you guys can see, this pattern is different compared to the rest of the patterns. Cause what I wanted to do is since this is the intro end, like I wanted it to, uh, I just wanted it to be with the intro, you know, and then when it gets into the verse, there's all these like different there it's fuller and like you don't have to it, it just it's different when it goes into the verse part and that's what that was my goal with this song now there's a whole wait I got to show you the, the thing I got to show you what it sounds like So another thing that I did to make this have the effect that I did, obviously I added reverb to it, but there's this VST called Black Mask. And what I can honestly say that I like about Soundbridge is that like it doesn't, like for whatever reason on FL Studio, it's, if I pull this up, like it's just gonna freeze. And it, I don't know why, but on this, like I could use the VST and still hear what I'm making and still hear what I'm using. So that's why it sounds like, you know, there's extra, you know, notes to it. Personally, I didn't add extra notes. I just added black back mask, I mean, and yeah. Now we're going to go all the way up here. Let me mute this. We're going to go all the way up here. And I'm going to tell you this second melody. Now this is a loop. I'm not even going to hold you. It was a loop that um, I originally wanted to... Um, have throughout the whole melody but then due to how the loop sounds like I just didn't want it to go throughout there so it's a part of the chorus and this is what it sounds like and I used the Sakura the Sakura Sakura 
Um, this looks beautiful to me. This the artwork of this looks beautiful to me. And yeah, I just like it. Now drums. Um, nothing really different, nothing really new. Um, 808 repeats itself. One thing I am going to show you though is the kicks and the hi-hats cuz this right here, I finally figured out if you use Soundbridge and well, if you're used to it, then you're used to the drawer tool. The drawer tool for me is a pain in the backside. But um this was my thing with the kicks at first. I the thing with the kicks was I didn't want it to sound the same all throughout the song. So I decided to make an intro kick and then that intro kick leads into uh, um the verse kick. And yeah, this is what the intro kick sounds like. the verse kick now this verse kick bangs I'm gonna show you it now I, I, I really like that kick all the things I made yeah now again I'm not gonna go so much into depth about certain things down here is the clap. These are the hi-hats. I tried doing typical traditional trap hi-hats. I'm gonna just show you what it sounds like real quick. Now, at first, when you listen to it, it is going to sound off. Like, because right now I'm listening to it, and it sounds a lot different from the beat than what it sounds like. But, um, yeah, it just, it's different. It sounds better, and I prefer it that way. Now, snare and 808, well, I'm going to show you the snare. Just there. Snare, nothing too special. Wait, what? Huh? Wait a minute, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me, my nigga? Okay, so my retarded ass, some, for whatever reason, replaced the uh, snare with the 808. I don't know how that was possible, or why it even happened, but here's the snare. <laughs> Now, boom, usual 808. I tried, if you heard the, uh, ah, I made another beat. I tried be making that beat with the 808 a little bit, but it failed. I'm not really a big fan of this 808, but here it is. For me, that, that pattern alone took so long because when I listen to it, like I have a speaker and I have headphones. When I put it in my headphones, like the way it sounded was just so off and I didn't know why. I guess some instruments don't belong with some instruments or possibly because the notes here, the, this, the notes on this plus the notes up here are completely different notes. So I don't know. Then again, I also tried to, nah, I ain't even gonna explain it all that. Like that but yeah now I'm gonna show you guys what this tempo thing does now like I said before in the beginning of the video 170 to 50 the tempo for this song is 170 now I'm not gonna show you guys the full effect of it I'm gonna show you guys bits of it I'm going to make sure you guys get the full on effect of it. Now, boom. Here's, here's the thing. Just 
slowing down. I'd never seen anything like that in FL Studio before, and I've been using FL Studio for years. Speaking of which, free dogs are starting to piss me off. <laughs> like I understand, I'm I'm very grateful that they exist, but these dogs are just a handful. Soundbrit like Cakewalk, y'all seen that video? That vi that, and for whatever reason, like I guess it's my computer. And I guess, or it's me, or it's the program, or it's whatever the case may be. It just doesn't want to work on my computer. So, unfortunately, I can't use Cakewalk. I heard it was really powerful, so I did really want to try it. But I have SoundBridge. And um, SoundBridge isn't really all that bad in itself. Oh. Yeah. Now, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this song. Um, I'm not going to do the traditional thing where I pick up the thing and talk for a bit because at this point, the video is already like 20 minutes or possibly longer. And, um, I already said what I had to say. Um, I'm working on a compilation album. Um, nothing really too serious. Um, just something songs I did over the time. I finally figured out a way to master it better. Thank God for Band Lab. And I'm going to put it on Apple Music. Hopefully it goes to Apple Music and I'll be able to share it with you guys here. But um, <clears throat> furthermore, and when it comes to music making content, for reasons other than just it's more than a music making channel. Like I want to make an album. I want to start doing other stuff too with music. And... I have just a bunch of beats like you if you guys think that like the beats that I put on my channel and my SoundCloud are you know kind of weird sounding or kind of crazy I have literally over 500 possibly more files of beats on my computer and I want to start using those beats for albums or for uh, mixtapes or for songs or for whatever. Like, I want to start getting into the process of writing music because making beats is different for me, but I can make a beat any time of day. Rapping, I haven't done that in a minute. <laughs> I'm, back in the day, I can't even say I sounded like Eminem. But right now, I sound like Little Pump. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's your real lifestyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on it. No, yeah, leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos on the way soon. Next week, I don't know if it'll be music related, but I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next week because I can't, yeah, keep doing this music related stuff. But um, without further ado, here's the beat. Hope you enjoy. Enjoy the slow down part. And yeah, have a nice day. Deuces. Oh wait, catch you guys on the flip side. Pizza. <laughs>